Hi, I'm Colleen Geary and I've been a part of the Run Pain Free team for about two and a half years. So I've had a, a journey of ups and downs, if you will. And uh, recently I came off of a very successful running year. I just finished up with the New York City Marathon. But this year I was able to complete three full marathons, a half marathons, a half marathon and a handful of 10Ks. So I'm feeling really proud of the work and really happy with the results I've gotten. Uh, in between Berlin and New York City marathons, which were my last two, I was having a week, a uh, very emotional week, you know, recovering for, from one, training for the next. I was just feeling all of the feelings, nervous, excited, um, wondering what was wrong with me that I even signed up for two so close together. And to calm my mind on one of my runs, I started just thinking about run pain free and what I've learned since I started. And when I finished my run, I kind of sent out these thoughts to coach feeling like it was sort of a love letter to run pain free, if you will. So of course, Coach Jess and Coach Daniel being the amazing, encouraging coaches they are, um, encouraged me to do a video and just share these principles with the team. And so that's what I'm here to do. I hope uh, you enjoy them. I hope maybe you get to take something away from them or maybe it even just encourages you to think about what run pain free has been to you so of course i took i have notes um because failing to plan is planning to fail so <laughs> don't mind me if i'm glancing down once in a while the first principle and they're they're in no particular order it's just how it came to me and the first one I came up with was do the work, exclamation point. <laughs> and that to me means that, you know, coach comes up with a plan for me. Every month I have my runs mapped out and I do three a week and just fit them in. Whatever that means, however I have to do it, I owe it to myself and to run pain free to fit those runs in. If I have to drive 45 minutes to get hill runs in, that's what I'm doing. Do I prefer to do flat runs right outside my door? Absolutely. But I want results and getting results means doing the work. So that's what I do. Um, it also means communicating, right? How did my run feel? What is my heart doing on my runs? How do my legs feel? All the things. There is there is nothing too small to think like, oh, coach doesn't really need to know that. That's no big deal. Um, that That's why we, we joined Run Pain Free, right? Because we don't really know what's a big deal and what's not or what what we might ignore that can be, become a big deal in the future. So be really open um, to communicating what you're feeling. Next is uh, I learned from the foam rolling course that I recently uh, got into in the academy and that is that sequence matters. Coach is always telling us to do things in a specific order and at this point, for me, it goes without saying that sequence matters. If you're new here and you didn't already know, sequence matters. <laughs> do things how coach says to do them. There's a reason for it. Um, if you want to understand the reasons, I encourage you to talk to coach. She loves, loves, loves to teach. I don't know the reasons for it, but I know it matters. So if I want to squeeze something in and I don't have time to do all the pre prerequisites required to do it, then I'm not going to bother because I know that's just a recipe for injury, pain, discomfort, whatever it may be. Make time to do all of the things you need to do or don't bother.
because you'll just wind up hurting yourself in the end. Um, and just I guess this is a little bit redundant, but the next thing I had written down was, if you feel something, say something. And again, this, you might not even, it might not even be related to running. Maybe uh, you wore heels out or, you know, chunky shoes out, and now your legs feel some type of way. Maybe you did, you know, another sport on the weekend, and now you have shoulder pain. Whatever it is, if your body is feeling some type of way, make sure to tell coach because she can fix it. And the longer you let it go, the more of a problem it's going to be. So I encourage you to communicate everything. <laughs> Next was to let your expectations match your effort. And this, I don't know, maybe it sounds harsh, but it just feels like sometimes, you know, we join the team or do the thing and it's like, okay, I'm here. I'm, you know, a run pain free runner. Now I'm going to meet all my goals. And that that's true to an extent because coach will give you all the tools you need to meet your goals. But you you have to give to it's it's a two-way street you have to take advantage of every aspect of the academy if you want to flourish there's friday night workouts that she does live and records so there's countless workouts to do anytime you're free um there is she gives us race calendars. She'll like, I'm in the nutrition program, which is the nutrition program changed my life. It changed my outlook and my relationship with food. Um, they, there's so many tools in the academy. Don't think just having access to the academy is going to, you know, change your running life. That, that's on you. You have to step up, you have to step out, maybe you have to get outside your comfort zone, maybe you have to, you know, make sacrifices, but you you have to give as well if you want your goals to be met. Uh, next is be consistent. Uh, if you are consistent, if you're communicating, if you're doing all of the things that you need to do to meet your goals, um, you have no reason not to trust the process. <sighs> Trusting the process is hard because depending on where you're at in your journey, it, it, you could be um, a little ways from your goal. And particularly as a runner, I know I've recently experienced this, that sometimes you do all the things and you don't meet your goals because there are, you know, outside forces at play. Um, there is weather, there are, are travel frustrations. So trust the process, but know that it's a process. It's not, you know, marathons, races owe us nothing. <laughs> that's what kind of keeps, I know for me, that's what keeps me coming back. You know, the idea of battling through the unknown and just seeing how I do. So be consistent, trust the process. And pain is feedback, so appreciate it. And I say that understanding that it is so hard to appreciate. We, we always wanna be feeling our best. We never wanna, you know, kind of be sitting on the bench, so to speak, watching racing and the running world go on without us. But sometimes that's just, you know, what we have to do. And for coach, the pain helps her help us. So um, you can be a corrected human as long as when you feel that pain, you express it to coach and give her the time and space and trust 
to fix you. It's not an easy one, but it's necessary. Last, uh, nobody cares, right? When we're, we're, it's just us, us and our bodies out there. And, you know, people can come out and support us and feel proud of us, but the whole package, the mental aspect, the physical aspect, the waking up on a freezing cold morning to go out and run or waking up on a disgustingly hot morning to go out and run. No, nobody cares that we're doing that. It's just, it's just us and our bodies and our running community. So we need to take care of our body. Um, we need to, to give it the, the time, the space, the recovery the attention that it needs and when we do that when we when we do right by our bodies our bodies will take care of us they will help us reach those goals and you know push through when we want to quit so I think um, nobody cares is a good way to end it I hope these principles help you. I hope you can relate to them or perhaps this is helping you think about principles that you've kind of learned and gotten out of run pain free. Um, have a good day. Uh, good luck on your next races or whatever you're working on. See you soon. Bye.